Welcome to our video tutorial on managing student behaviors using the Pure Data Behavior plugin in the PowerTeacher portal. This step-by-step -step guide will show you how to create referrals and record both positive and negative behaviors, ensuring educators can effectively monitor student conduct and communicate necessary information to administrators. The Pure Data plugin enhances the PowerSchool log entry feature by adding comprehensive fields tailored for educators and administrators alike. This compatibility ensures a seamless experience across both the PowerSchool admin and PowerTeacher portals. Primarily, this plugin is designed to track student behaviors. It distinguishes between positive reinforcements and areas needing improvement. Moreover, it facilitates the recording of general observations and enables automatic email notifications to stakeholders, including students, guardians, and school administrators. This tutorial is crafted for teachers, highlighting the procedure to enter behavior logs from the PowerTeacher interface and review the entered records. Let's dive in. Firstly, log into your PowerTeacher account and click on the Pure Data Behavior plugin from the left-hand menu. Here, you'll find options to create new entries or view existing reports. Choosing the Multiple Student Entry tab allows for the input of behaviors for several students simultaneously. This feature is particularly useful for instances where a group of students is involved. Upon clicking this option, you'll be directed to a selection page. Here, you can filter students by class or use the search box to find specific students not in your class but whom you wish to report on, such as those observed in hallways or on school grounds. Let's proceed by selecting a few students for our example. After selection, click on Create Behaviors to move to the Data Entry page. At the top of this page, you have the option to select who receives email notifications about the behavior log. Let's include guardians, administrators, and our assistant principal, Dr. John, in the notifications. Next, let's dive into detailing the student's behavior. This is where you select the log type to categorize the behavior as either positive or negative. For negative behaviors, you'll find a list of specific options that help you pinpoint the exact nature of the misconduct. In my portal, choices include but are not limited to academic dishonesty, for instances of cheating or plagiarism, cell phone use, when a student uses their phone inappropriately during class, chewing gum, if chewing gum is against school policy, alley loitering, for students found loitering in unauthorized areas, each option is designed to accurately reflect the behavior, enabling precise documentation and subsequent action. On the flip side, positive behaviors are celebrated with equally specific options, such as empathy, recognizing acts of kindness and understanding towards others. Perfect attendance, to commend consistent attendance. Teamwork, highlighting cooperative and collaborative efforts among students. In our example, we'll select negative behavior and further specify cell phone use. This specificity aids in precise tracking and administrative action. For schools with a point-based discipline system, points can be assigned here. If not, this feature will be inactive. Also, select the incident location and describe the behavior in detail. The more information provided, the better it can be addressed. In the Teacher Action field, note any immediate steps you've taken, like contacting a parent or removing the student from the class. This context is vital for a complete understanding of the incident. A key feature of the plugin is the ability to escalate issues to administrators via the referral option. When toggled, it sends an automatic notification to administrators with your detailed report, enabling them to review and take necessary actions. Think of it as opening a ticket in a help desk system where the issue is addressed and resolved with feedback provided. If reporting similar behaviors for multiple students, the Copy Below button replicates the information across all selected entries, allowing for individual adjustments. After completing all fields, submit your report. That's it. You've now effectively logged the behavior incidents for all students. In our upcoming video, we'll explore how to generate and access detailed reports on student behaviors. Thank you for joining this tutorial. Your commitment to creating a supportive and positive learning environment is invaluable.